Life had been a series of hard-fought days for me, a welder by trade, struggling to make ends meet. My wife, Elizabeth, a free spirit who reveled in the joys of a carefree lifestyle, was the sun around which my world orbited. Balancing her whims with my meager earnings was a constant challenge, but I endeavored to make her happy. We had been married for a decade now, ten years that felt like both a lifetime and an instant. Our mundane routine took an unexpected turn when our new neighbor, Roger, moved in next door. A young, successful programmer, he entered our lives like a gust of wind, charismatic and vibrant. As we exchanged pleasantries, I couldn't help but notice the way Elizabeth's eyes lingered on him. At first, I brushed it off, chalking it up to natural curiosity. However, it wasn't long before I noticed Elizabeth's increasingly frequent attempts to cross paths with Roger. It became apparent that they were finding reasons to spend time together, often under the pretense of casual encounters. My gut twisted with unease, a feeling that only intensified when I learned that Elizabeth and Roger were occasionally visiting a nearby bar in my absence. One evening, unable to contain my growing apprehension, I confronted Elizabeth. She dismissed my concerns, claiming it was nothing more than friendship. But the doubts nagged at me, corroding my sense of trust. The dam burst when I returned home early from work one day. The scene that unfolded before my eyes was a nightmarish tableau Roger and Elizabeth entwined in our bedroom, their naked bodies a blatant betrayal of our vows. She was straddling him, the room resonating with her pleasured moans. Shock coursed through me, an electric current of pain and disbelief. Instead of erupting in a fiery confrontation, I maintained my composure, my voice steady as I asked them to leave my house. They complied, departing with a guilty silence hanging in the air. In the aftermath, Elizabeth and Roger set up residence next door, a stark reminder of the life that had crumbled around me. Initially weighed down by desolation, I gradually realized how liberating it was to be free from the shackles of a broken marriage. The burden that had been consuming me lifted, revealing an unexpected lightness. Without Elizabeth, I rediscovered myself. Embracing my newfound independence, I reveled in simple pleasures a gaming console and a rubber doll that bore a strange resemblance to a woman. The years of accommodating her whims and desires had come to an end, and a new era of self-discovery had begun. As time passed, I reveled in my carefree existence, enjoying the freedom that had long been absent from my life. My heart no longer ached with the pain of betrayal, and I learned to cherish solitude over the empty promises of the past. The idea of diving into serious relationships was foreign to me instead, I found solace in the present moment. I'm not even thinking about a serious relationship right now. I'm tired of women. I lived in agony for 10 years. I am grateful to Roger for taking my problem away from me. Roger is 25 and Elizabeth is 30. She can teach Roger a lot in bed. And Elizabeth is lucky to have a rich husband. I don't waste time. I bought a game console and a rubber doll. My life is full of happiness. Elizabeth's actions had shattered my world, but in the wreckage, I found a chance to rebuild myself. Life took on a different hue, one painted with the colors of resilience, self-discovery, and the determination to embrace whatever lay ahead. Dear Tom, your journey through betrayal and self-discovery has not been easy. Facing infidelity is a profound emotional experience that causes shock, hurt, anger, and doubt in your ability to trust. Your initial efforts to make your wife happy reflected a sincere commitment, but you experienced disappointment and loss as a result. Dear Tom, your resilience in overcoming such a difficult situation is commendable. Here are some recommendations to help you continue on your journey. Give yourself time to recover, accept your emotions, and give yourself a chance to heal. Seek support from friends, family, 
or a therapist who can help. Reflect and grow think about the lessons you learned from this experience and how they can influence your future relationships in a positive way.